Hello guys, Popstuff here, and today we're going to be to- um, overviewing the new um, Triple Coin Cup slash April Fool slash other things update. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So here we have the Triple Coin Cup login event, so you can get little daily rewards like Magma, which you can use in the Magma Gacha, for, which is just like Stardust Gacha. We have different login events, all this kind of stuff, uh, lots of different cool rewards. Now let's go to the Noble Flames Pass, where you can do pass missions, uh, like other passes, and you can get um, these little, like, kind of clover kind of thingies, like you, if you play cards, like the clover things. So, we can use these these clovers to get pass rewards. Now, if you if you have the the actual the pass, you get better rewards. But if you're if you don't if you're free to play, you can be free to play and still get rewards. So yeah, that is the aim for victory nobles pass. You, every level it costs three hundred, I think. I think as you progress, the um, the cost of leveling up gets higher and higher. So yeah, that's um that. Now let's go to the spices from the mall, which is a capsaicin cookie um magma gems collectors thing. Um, you can collect some magma gems, do some capsaicin cookie gacha. Now there's there's different um areas to clear like like profit cookie gacha. Oh, that was amazing. Um, so we you go different ones like the library, the student lounge, different rewards for each one, the cafeteria, the armory. The uh the training grounds, the resident hall, the assembly hall, and if you complete all the missions, you get three thousand crystals and some of these toppings. Next, we have the triple coin cup, the actual one. Now, if you get flags for your team, which is mine, I'm the cream knights. Um, you get different rewards. Now, these rewards look really nice, actually. They're pretty good rewards. The end reward is a event profile. So yeah, that's cool. So let's see what we can do for. Fight for the flag is just um, uh, Kingdom Arena, but you um, if you find an opponent in Kingdom Arena, you get flags for your team, which gets you more rewards. So yeah, um, let's just get out. Um, I think I've exited, so let's go here. Yep. Okay, let's go back. Now we have Torch Run, which is a mini game where you run and collect the torches, like in any other um, like Kingdom level. So there's a scoreboard. Now this is where your team hangs out. This is the um, I don't know what it's called, like the assembly room maybe. So um, yeah, I'm I'm Cream Knights. You see me there, Space Donut, because Space Donut is the best. Okay, Romance Kingdom. This is the April Fools update. We have Serena Fair. Um, I th- I don't know what Raspberry is called. Herbert Hoo Hoo. Um, Marcus Madeline. Um, you get hearts, and then you can continue on with the story. So there's story, album, and gifts. Um, the Romance Kingdom is a really... I feel like the art's really well done in this as well. So if I go here, day two. I've, I've gotten up to day two in this. Um, it's morning already. I'm just going to skip. Oh, look at Herbert. I mean, Herb. Oh, I can't, I can't. Okay, the squirrel shop is back. We have the new spring squirrel shop. And there's a new treasure. Now, if we go to the squirrel market, you can... You get different items for acorns. Get some acorns from the acorn market. I've used up all mine because I like using up stuff. So yeah, that's those are the rewards for the acorn market. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.